Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the mountain. It's another gorgeous day up here in lovely New Hampshire. So, what we got today, we got a little bit different of a video for you. Uh, we're out here with our Coyote CK2610, and we have to do the 400-hour service on it. Now, what I've done, I've printed out a couple things from my manual. Well, okay, I kind of copied them because I don't want to get oil and grease all over the stuff in my manual. So, stuff we have to do at 400 hours. If, I don't know, you can't probably read that, but we have to do things like transmission oil, front axle oil, engine oil, engine oil filter. So, the transmission oil, that's the hydraulic fluid. The hydraulics run on this tractor runs the transmission as well as the front end loader. So it's like 5.8 gallons of uh, hydraulic fluid that we have to swap out, plus two filters, the regular hydraulic and then the high pressure filter. So we're gonna do that today too. We're gonna do the fuel filter, the engine oil, and the oil filter. Things we're not going to do today that are supposed to be done is the front axle. The reason for that is because right down in there somewhere, I have seals that are leaking on the front axle that's going to be fixed next week under warranty, so they'll have to do that then anyway. The coolant was just done. We had a faulty um, water pump on it, so they had to pull that and they just did the radiator fluid then. Um, that was all done at the dealer. It's going back to the dealer for the front axle. I will give a shout out to my dealer, Batchelder Sales in Lebanon, Maine. They've been awesome dealing with this tractor. Um, any issues I call them, they take care of it right away for me. They're very personable people, very nice people. If you're in our area and you need a coyote, that's where to go. Batch Elder Sales in Lebanon, Maine. They didn't ask me to do that. I just did that because they've been good to me, so I'm going to be good to them. So, I have our fluids and filters ready to go. So, this is what I'm using for filters and fluids. The Traveler Hydraulic Fluid I get from Tractor Supply. My filters are right here. I have my two hydraulic fluid filters, engine oil filter, and the fuel filter. I'm using Shell Rotella T. Uh, I've got the T6, the 5W40 right now. This tractor takes about a gallon and a half of engine oil. It takes a little over five gallons of hydraulic fluid. Um, the area I'm in is not quite level, so I put two by sixes under the wheels and now she's almost perfectly level. So I'm going to get some cardboard, put it under the tractor, and then we're going to start draining fluids. Yay! Alright folks, here we are under the tractor. Now here's the back wheels, the back end, and underneath is that big plug right there, which is approximately 30 millimeter. If you have a Ural, you have a 30 millimeter wrench in your toolkit. If you don't, you can either get a 30 millimeter or you can get a big old uh, um, big old crescent wrench, an adjustable wrench, and that would probably work just fine. So that's where we're going to drain all the transmission fluid, i.e. the hydraulic fluid is going to come out of right there. If you come right up here, this is for the clutch. Once you drain, you can drain that, and then you can check for water in the clutch, make sure it all drains out. Um, and then if we turn around to the front, front of the tractor this is the underneath this is the oil pan you have two 17 millimeter plugs there so you can take them out so I'm going to switch cameras now to the GoPro and we're going to go ahead and get started but this is your drain plug right here so we're going to get a drain pan and put it underneath we're going to get our 30 millimeter which once again comes out of your Ural motorcycle kit, which I'm sure everybody has. We're going to go ahead and take that off. It's not on there very tight. Now we're going to have to be careful with this because there's like five gallons in here. So we're not going to be able to take it all out at once because I don't have a pan big enough to hold it. So this should be quite interesting how this works. 
if I was a smart man, I'd go get another pan, something to put it in. And I think I'm a kitty litter bucket will fit under that. So we're gonna start with this bucket. And then when that's full, we'll slide the kitty litter bucket over. Okay. Hydraulic fluid is draining out. We'll just keep an eye on that because at five gallons we have to, uh, well, when this is full, we got to move it. Okay, the first hydraulic filter is on this side. All right. Wow, that was easy. This side would be the high pressure, the orange one. At least it's a nice day. Yep, oh, it's nice and easy. Now we'll go ahead and take out that clutch bolt that we were talking about before. And hopefully that gets the rest of our fluid. A lot of the drain plugs in here, they have orange paint on them, like this one here. There we go. I do want to show you the drain plug for the main hydraulic is magnetic. So as you can see, it's got some stuff. So we'll just take that off like that. We'll just wipe it off and there it is. I'm just wiping up the hole, get any grit or anything off it. We'll put our plug back in. Pop the excess, get your 30 millimeter wrench from your Ural tool kit, and tighten that up. I don't want to crank it too much because it wasn't very tight before, but that's good enough. It's pretty much one grunt, meaning you pull it, go, Ugh! there's one grunt tight. That one's good. Over here, put the clutch plug back in. Okay, there's that one nice and tight. Now, before we put oil in, of course, we gotta put filters on. Once again, we're gonna take a paper towel and wipe down the seating area. And look at that, there's already an O-ring there. Oh, the one from the filter. That's another reason why we check. Wipe that down real good. Make sure there's no crud. We'll put the filter on. Now the manual says when it touches and then give it another half a turn. So there it touches. Then we'll give it half a turn. 
actually need the wrench to do that. And there we go. The towel will wipe that down real good again, like the other side. And we'll screw on the new filter. Okay, we'll give it half a turn. A quarter. There. Okay, we are ready to refill. Funnel set up in there, and now we just gotta pour our oil in. All right, so the hydraulic fluid is all in. We got the whole five gallons in. We'll I cycled it once and to get fluid into the filters and whatnot and everything worked great. Now we're gonna go ahead and drain the engine oil out of here. I showed you before, there's two plugs. There's two drain plugs. Can you see them? Yes, you can, they're right there. So we'll go ahead and take the, I'm talking, so we'll go ahead and take them two out. There's one. And there's the other. So we'll let that drain. So while that's draining underneath, we can go ahead and pull the oil filter, which is on the right side of the engine. And there we go. It's off. And like before, we're gonna go ahead and clean off that area see there's a little bit of crud on it. I'll just clean that off nicely. Trusty paper towel. There. There we are. Remember that's the sound of a satisfied mow. There we are. New coyote filter and we'll put oil on the seal. We'll put a little oil on the seal like we did the hydraulic. And we'll screw that on. Make it tight, but not too tight. Okay, on, everything's wiped up. Now we're gonna go ahead and we'll put our two plugs back in the drain pan. Or we're gonna wipe up the holes. Just wipe off our drain plugs. These are not magnetic. off the other one and we'll screw Ooh, glad I didn't drop it in the oil bucket done that many times right, screw that one in wipe off the excess oil again and we'll go ahead and tighten them up Not super duper tight, maybe half a grunt. 
go ahead and wipe everything off. And now we can fill it. Now with the Coyote, there are two different places you can put an oil. You can go into the top of the engine and right here, right there, <laughs> is a filler cap. But they also gave you, on the side of the engine, this filler cap right here. So either one will work. Okay, I put a funnel in the engine. This engine takes six quarts of oil. I'm using the Rotella T right there. So we're gonna go ahead and dump the oil in. It's pretty simple, standard dumping in of oil. And there we go, we just put six quarts of oil in there. We'll go ahead and we'll put our cap back on. Up there, somewhere, there we go. Put the cap back on, we have six quarts in there. The next thing we have to do is the fuel filter, which is right here. Once again, on the right side, there's our oil filter. Right above it is a fuel filter. This piece, the white piece, we have to take off. So we're gonna take that off and we're gonna take our filter off and replace it. All right, my strap wrench is a little bit big for this one, so I'm just using this wrench here and that'll take it off. There we go. Go ahead and pop that off. Because this piece has to go on the new filter. They don't give you a new one. Good. With some oil. Go ahead and put it back in here. Now we're going to go ahead and screw that on to the new fuel filter. Make sure that o-ring seated good. Just screw that in. I'm just going to do it hand tight because it is just plastic. And maybe we'll give it a little snug. There we go. We'll put some oil on this gasket and then we'll go ahead and put this filter back on. Wipe that real quick. And then we'll go ahead and put our new fuel filter on. And I'm just gonna give it a little spin with my wrench. should be tight enough. So that should be it. A few pumps to prime it. All right I'm gonna clean everything up underneath and I'll be right back and then we'll fire this thing up. And there we go folks we got all the hydraulic fluid changed, we have the engine oil changed, we have the fuel filter changed. Uh, things I didn't do today like I said was the front axle because that'll be done next week. The radiator fluid was done like a month ago and greasing I do all the time anyway so she doesn't need that today. Now, everything's in there. We're going to go ahead and fire it up and see what happens. I'll put you over here. You can watch. Let the fuel pump do its thing. Let's give her a... Whoop. There we go. Fire's right up. Doesn't stay running, but... There we go. We have hydraulics. We're going to go ahead and check the leaks.
good there. Look good there. Good. All right, so now we'll shut it down for a minute. We'll check our fluids and see, how, and then we'll take it for a spin. Your oil dipstick is on the right side, right under the filler. Everything's got bright orange caps where you check things. Kind of like that. So we'll go ahead and pull our dipstick. And we'll wipe it off and put it back in, but so far it looks really good. Yeah, she's really good right there, right where it needs to be. So that's perfect. So you check the front diff, the front axle right here. Once again, they have bright orange wherever you check things. And then for the rear hydraulic fluid, it's right in the back, well, all the hydraulic fluid, it's right there, it just pulls out. And we're good to go there too. So everything's good. We're going to take her for a spin and see how she does. All right, let's go. It's doing good. Green Acres is a place for me. Life for me. So it happens when we shift her in the high gear. Oh yeah, there we go. It's doing good. Check the brakes. All right, so we checked her out for leaks again. Everything's running good. Everything's looking really good with the tractor. So that's it, folks. That's how you do the 400-hour service on a Coyote CK2610 hydrostatic drive. Uh, it's not that hard. Simple tools. The only one that you might not have is a 30 millimeter wrench, but hey, a big adjustable wrench will work or go out and get yourself a Ural and then you'll have the 30 millimeter wrench. Perfect. So that's it from the mountain folks for today anyway. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel, ring the bell. Um, there'll be more videos on the tractor, more videos on the sawmill, everything people like to see, and of course our critters too. So once again from the mountain, everybody, God bless.